can diet really have an effect on our brain? Well, this study was done and they use what's called a mind diet. And the mind diet is a combination of the Mediterranean diet and the uh, antihypertensive diet, a diet to lower blood pressure. When they use this diet, which basically means more berries, green vegetables, and less animal fat, what happened was they had a slower rate of cognitive decline, equivalent to seven and a half years you, younger. Is that amazing? Food did that. Now here's another study where they use green vegetables. I'm happy to say that the green vegetable garden shown in the screen on the upper left is our own vegetable garden. And our friends see it and they say, what are you doing? You're gonna sell them? No, we can eat almost any amount of green vegetables. And they're just about the most perfect food for people, protective and delicious. In the Rush Memory and Aging Project, they compared people who ate just one to two servings of green vegetables a day with people who ate very little green vegetables a day, it was equivalent of being 11 years younger in age. So if normally dementia will strike in the 80s, if you can put it off to the 90s, then that's really helpful. In fact, that's the end of the epidemic. If you could slow Alzheimer's 11 years, that would be the end of it because most people are going to be dead by the time they get dementia. It won't bother them a bit. What about drugs? Do drugs help with dementia? Now, two drugs are commonly used in clinics all over America and in the world, donepezil and memantine. However, they do not slow neurodegeneration, which I'll define as the killing off of brain cells and the inability of neurons to communicate with each other. They don't protect the brain with antioxidant function or anti-inflammatory function. Now, I'm quoting a 2018 study here from the uh, Journal of the American Geriatric Society, and they looked very carefully at a large group of people taking these drugs. And they found that donepezil has minimal effects on cognition at a cost of 76% more vomiting and 62% more diarrhea. The one thing that many people with dementia do remember is they, they don't like donepezils. Memantine has small positive effects, according to this study, and severe possible side effects, including blood clots, psychosis, and heart failure. This is pretty serious stuff for something that really doesn't seem to help very much. Now, we have a new drug that's just been approved, although three of the expert panel members resigned in protest at it being approved because it's not very effective and it doesn't seem to be particularly safe either. Possible brain swelling and bleeding are two of the problems. Brain hemorrhage is one of the possible side effects with aducanumab. And so unfortunately this doesn't seem like perhaps the best way to do it. So let's look at what does work. Well, what about supplements? Can they slow dementia? This study looked at some elders who were supplemented with, uh, they had 300 elders in the study, all 60 to 75. They supplemented them with 200 milligrams of vitamin E in the wrong form, 300 milligrams of vitamin C, not nearly enough, and beta carotene, but not the other carotenoids. However, they improved their memory on tests by about 15%. That's three points on the mini mental status exam. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm.